Good evening, people in YouTube land. I'm going to tell you about the five strangest things in China. China is a pretty strange place and a lot of things don't make sense. So, uh, Colorful shoes! I don't get it. Why do people do this? Everybody there wears colorful shoes. And uh, let's find a young person with crazy shoes. Gray's not good enough. Black's not good enough. White's not good enough. There we go. Well, not everybody, but especially the young people. They all wear these colorful shoes. With the really funky looking shoes. You see that everywhere. So many of them wear colorful shoes. I don't understand it. It makes absolutely no sense. The culture of loudness! Yeah, loudness. I know about loudness. It's unbelievable. We just saw the Expendables 3 here in Chengdu. When you go to the movies, they put the volume level all the way up. It was the loudest film I've ever seen. What did you think about the volume? The volume is too loud, but the movie is good. <laughs> And what did we do to manage the volume? Go to the <laughs> When you're in traffic, they beep the horn. Beep, 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 beep. It's, um, it's definitely the worst traffic I've seen in this city. Some things in China are far too damn loud. Um, yeah. I think the reason behind it is because people compete with each other. There's so many people, they all got to be so loud. Chinese English, or Chinglish as some people call it. It's really bad grammar mostly, it's not really spelling. But some people, yeah, when they make the sign, yeah, <laughs> the sign is wrong. Always wrong. Spelling mistake. Another spelling mistake. More spelling mistakes. A sign that says one thing and it kind of means something else. And yeah, translate server error, that's a good one, yeah. Don't these people know about spell check? When you are a white person, or western as they call you, you are a foreigner. You're not a visitor. This is the border crossing between Hong Kong and China. You're not a tourist. <clears throat> when you leave Hong Kong, you cease to be a visitor, a visitor and you become a foreigner. You are a foreigner, alien, outsider, outlander, interloper. The Chinese countryside. The Chinese countryside, it's hard to tell what's different about it from the cities. Oh, the land is taken up. Oh, the land is gone. So you go out into the countryside and you see skyscrapers. What's up with that? You don't see any sheep or cows or animals. Just more buildings and houses. And so you go on the train from one city to the other and it's like, where did one city end and the other city begin? I don't know. China is a damn strange place.